Hey everyone, it's Mario. Thanks for joining me. Today is part two of the Gourmet Air Fryer Challenge. This is the $50 air fryer I picked up from Costco. And today we're going to be cooking some wings, so stick around. Okay, so I've already rinsed and patted dry the chicken and I cut them in half. And for those of you who haven't watched my videos in the past, I basically grab the wing and I just pretty much separate the winglet from the mini drumstick here and we're ready to season okay first we're going to add a little extra virgin olive oil or as i like to say evo We've got some pink himalayan salt some fresh ground peppercorn pepper got some granulated garlic gonna add some uh, rosemary leaves i'm also going to add some of that smoked paprika i picked up yesterday it was pretty good Have some onion powder laying around so might as well use that too and now we mix and we're ready to cook okay we're gonna put equal parts of wings or little winglets and little drumsticks in each of the air fryers first things first though we need to spray the pans got my little evo spray here pick up a bj's two for five dollars We got just gonna start them out one at a time. Now keeping in mind that the go eyes can hold more at a time. That's just the nature of the beast here. Now if you look at both of these, they both have eight pieces. And this one is uh, filled enough so that there's enough breathing room around it. And the go wise is bigger and you can obviously easily fit several more in there. You could fit a couple more in the gourmet, but I just again want to show you the difference here. Now, one thing to note with both of these, the Gourmet, when you pick the chicken drumstick symbol, it's saying 400 for 20 minutes. But when you look at the go wise, it actually wants to pick 380 for 20 minutes. Now, these displays are actually the same you know obviously the internals are different but i'm kind of curious of you know what i don't want to say possesses but what possesses manufacturers because a lot of these parts came off the same assembly line especially this one is a power xl clone or vice versa power xl is the same as this so i'm going to cook it at 380 to start so let's lower the temperature here to 380 we're going to start that up i'm going to move the timers down to 12 minutes on both of these and we will check them in about six minutes. Chances are it'll have to go a little longer, but we're gonna start from there. Okay, it's been about eight minutes. And these look about ready to flip. They both do. Actually, the gourmet looks more ready to flip. So let's get these all flipped. Again, I think the gourmet is uh, cooking faster just because the meat is closer to the element. Granted, the element isn't as powerful. It's just it being closer in general. That's what's going to happen. And you can see those right there. Now, one other note is I normally cook wings at uh, 400. However, I wanted to cook it at 380 because that's kind of what the air, the Go Wise air fry I want to cook it at, and. Although I never use those presets anymore, I did when I first got it. I just want to see what the average newcomer might do uh, when they get something like this. So I'm cooking it at what the Go Eyes would normally want it at, but a little lower than the Gourmet. -a. But I'm actually now going to turn them both up to 400 to start like a crisping process on the chicken. We'll see you in four minutes. Okay. Oh within a couple seconds. The gourmets look pretty good. As well as the go-wise. I think I need to cook them a little bit longer, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip them all again and then cook them about another two minutes. This way the bottom that's been sitting will get a little more crispy. Who does not like crispy uh, skin on the wings, right? 
I'm sure there's someone out there who does it, but spread them out a little bit. And we'll see you in two minutes. Alright. Seems like these, yep, just about right. And that's what I'm talking about. Go ice too. The gourmet does look a little bit more cooked, but uh, put that up to uh, anomalies. Explain phenomena. Okay, so I am going to get a winglet and a little drumstick from the gourmet. And I'm going to do the same for the go wise. Oh, that looks good. And this is what we got. Again, go wise, gourmet. Alright. Now, again, go wise, gourmet. Now, the gourmet is cooked a little bit more, so if I wanted this to be a comparison of of like crispiness versus time. I could have left these in the go wise a little bit longer. And again, I think it's cause the heating element is closer to the food in the gourmet. And uh, even though it's a lower power element, it only has to keep it at 400 degrees, but the heat being closer, maybe it has something to do with it. So let's go with the go wise first. They taste the same. They're they were flavored in, in the same bucket. The gourmet probably cooks about a minute faster, but we already covered that. What I do want to cover is uh I guess the elephant in the room. It's a $50 air fryer, $55 depending if you buy it in store online. The go wise was $130 when I bought it a year ago. The website direct sells it for 130, Amazon sells it for 80 for the black one, 100 for the red, 75 for the purple slash plum model. Plum model. The Go Wise is a heavier unit. It's a more powerful unit. It's a bigger capacity unit. A lot of the weight different is from the basket. Now I went to try to find a digital scale. I couldn't find one because I really want to weigh it. But when I was at uh, BJ's today picking up the wings, they have a Power XL, which is identical to the Go Wise USA. Except some cosmetic changes and uh it's the same unit basically the go wise is you know 5.8 1700 watts and the uh power excel is 5.3 quarts i can't remember what the power rating was but chances are it could be as simple as it being 1600 watts versus uh, a slightly shorter barrel whatever but i do know that the go wise you are saying the power excel not to get off on another tangent the baskets and pans are fully interchangeable, so I can get the basket from one, put it in the pan of the other, vice versa, and they all switch interchangeable, interchangeably. So again, they probably come out of the same factory. The gourmet, obviously, is different inside. There's a lot of the stamp parts look identical, except, you know, it's like a smaller scale. You know, that being said, the go Wise is a heavier unit, is a more heavy duty unit. I'm not saying it's better than the gourmet, the Go Wise has treated me really well. The biggest thing with these is the basket wear. Um, I know with the Go Wise, I've seen some people complain after days, and this goes for any of the air fryer parks out, that the uh, nonstick coating comes off of these. Mine lasted about nine months until I really started to abuse it. But that didn't bother me because I'm usually using parchment paper, so it's not a big deal. It's obviously too soon to tell with the Gourmet. Um, there's some other air fryers out there, like you see the big DeLonghi's and the, you know, uh, the New Waves, and even like the Paula Deen has a ceramic coating. Uh, there's a lot of different coatings. So the big question is, I've had the Gourmet about a week now. Uh, would I recommend it? Sure. If $50 is all you have, um, I would recommend it. It's a good starter unit, and it could have a very long lifespan. You just need, like anything, you have to take care of it. 
is the Go Eyes worth the $80? And again, this is for the black on Amazon. Yes, of course. It's slightly bigger, slightly more powerful, and slightly heavier. Everything about it is heavy duty, but that handle issue bothers me. And I know that they redesigned the basket slightly. It's got three screws and a triangular back bracket versus one, but I still think that it has that button issue. You know, usually I just pull out the tray and I shake it when really I should probably support the back and shake it around. But that's just something you have to look out for. Um, other than that, you know, I see nothing wrong with either unit. Um, I want to actually get a second air fryer simply because sometimes I'm cooking two different things. Yes, I have a stove I, and I understand all that. But maybe I want to do a few wings and a few fries or whatever the case may be. So the reason why I'm considering buying another Go Wise USA at this point is it treated me well until the button failure. However, if I get another Go Wise, even though this one is now technically a few generations old, they have a new one with a slightly sloped front, which I'm not a fan of, and a new one that looks more like the Gourmet with that round bevel top, is the baskets are interchangeable. I contacted Go Wise support and they said, yes, the basket, they're the same basket, same part number. And to me, that's a good thing because you know, there's interchangeability if I'm cooking multiple things, you just pop one in, pop one out. Um, I'm really not sure what I'm going to do. I don't mind the gourmet, but I kind of think that I'm going to need that extra capacity, you know, for a family of three. People say, I got the 3.6 quart and it's great for us. You know what? With the 5.8, I could fit uh, 10 wings in there without a problem. Uh, so you get 20 little pieces. Uh, so I. You know that's not a lot that's for like five wings per person you know there's not a lot of meat on the chicken wings so my brother made a comment when i bought this over a year ago before i bought it he said go big or go home and to me that still holds true today even with a single person and i know i've said this before myself i could throw two or three drumsticks up in there cut up some potatoes put it in you know and whatever time later it's done the basket isn't overfilled and cramped so things get good air circulation so i think five quarts is really honestly a good starting point for anybody and sometimes when they're bigger capacity they're just taller yeah they're a little bit bigger wider but the height is a big thing for instance in the go wise i can fit a five pound chicken that's not happening in the gourmet maybe i can fit one of those little uh gornish hens or something like that and that would work and that's another reason why i like the 5.8 quart or 5.3 if you have the power xl also, I think I've seen um, the Cook Essentials, one of the models I think was similar to this, and maybe the Todd English, don't quote me on that, I think that was the case. Um, again, it all comes down to what you want to do. If you're only going to use the air fryer once in a while to throw some fries in or quick foods in, the gourmet is fine, there's no problem with that. Longevity, I don't know. Obviously, I've only had it a week. The Go Wise has proven itself over a year. Although those basket issues has costed me because I've gone through two baskets now, well, excuse me, two pans now because of the faulty button and I just gotta keep my eye on it. And I know other people have had the same issue. Um, I know I've done a little bit of talking here, so I hope those talking points went well. Um, what else? Well, let's grab a little bowl here. Let's throw in a couple of wings, excuse me, a couple of drumsticks couple of uh, mini wings. <laughs> See, that's one thing that bothers me about these air fryers. Yeah, remember to unplug them. If you bump them a little bit, someone walks by, bumps them, they turn on, that could cause you a world of pain. I want to try some of my uh, wing sauce. I haven't had a uh, hot wing sauce in a while. And you know how I shake it. I love my hot wings. So this video isn't much so which one cooks it better because they both do pretty much the same job. It's a matter of does it do the job. And that it does. Tell ya. That sweet baby ray sauce, it's mighty good. Okay, anyway, I'm debating doing another a part three in this or not, because I've had it a week, messed around, 
it's going to be a rinse and repeat of everything that's gone on so you have to take it for what it is if you have tons of money to burn go with the go wise go with the uh the new wave uh the six and the ten quart you know you got the delongis and all that i haven't tested them um i'm debating whether i want to do that target had a 30 percent off sale and i just missed it and i was going to pick up the new wave 10 quart because that's what i want to test because that you can do a ton of food in it's got like a little built-in rotisserie anyway if you're still here thanks for listening thanks for hearing out my opinions here again that's it that's my opinion um if you have any questions or you want me to test something between the two uh please put it in the description below and i will be happy to respond anyway if you like this video please give it a thumbs up please consider subscribing it does make a difference hit the notification bell so you know when i put out a new video i'll see you on the next one thanks a lot i really appreciate it